What's up guys? Welcome back. So we're watching Dr. Stone episode 19. Last week's episode ended off basically kind of with the ambush of Tsukasa's team kind of against the, the village of science and whatnot, the kingdom of science. And we're kind of just in the midst of that right now. So honestly, there's not much else to say. We're going to jump into it and see how this continues to take off. So let's go. I got some Cheetos with me. Oh, it's Tsukasa, OMG. You know what, I'm gonna get a bowl because this is gonna be really loud. Constantly, like, that's gonna be annoying. I don't like the spicy hot Cheetos. I feel like I've said this before, because I'm sure I've eaten Cheetos in a video before. I don't like the spicy hot ones. I can eat like two to three, <laughs> and then I'm done. Like, were they buddies? Like. underestimate the dives. I keep the eyes closed. Why are you just watching this? Like what's interesting about this is that you would think that the world that was there before was like a normal world, but clearly it wasn't. Like these humans were not normal. Okay. Tsukasa and this dude with a spear and somehow he's like mad strong like who are you and what did you do? Were you a businessman? Like were you in, in school? Like It's you <laughs> Are we gonna see Yuzu here on Taiju yet? Oh yes girl, yes! I already said how much I like muscly girls not like extremely muscly, like not the like really, really muscly, like it's pra who is this? Not like the practically it's a dude, but then you put a female head on top. I just like the genuinely like, you know, toned women. Bro, I'm not even gonna lie, I agree with everything he just said here. I, that is so freaking true. Like, I feel like I've had this conversation so, with so many people before. This whole concept that initially, this world was everybody's. You know, there weren't people starving in places where they couldn't access water, like they weren't allowed to get food. Like everything was just, it belonged to everyone, you know? And at some point, there started being lands. Oh, you can't have, you can't drink from this water. You can't be, you know, it's ridiculous. Like the con the very concept that freaking places, land is owned by some people and each person is just not allowed to just live on it is insane. Like obviously I understand it's a matter of structure and it's kind of necessary for humans to live and be controlled so that it's not chaotic like I get that but I've always thought of this like the concept that like humans can not have access to certain things that this world was equally given to every single human being is nuts it's crazy that's facts Yeah, I was like, girl, look at her. She's freaking. She, she's, she's hinting. Like he's, he's not the worst kind of person, but he is. So he was already not feeling him, kind of, from the beginning. <laughs> I 
This show's been real. Like, this is one of the highest levels of self-sacrifice. He's really self-sacrificing right now, Loki. High key, actually. He really is. Like, it's not like he wasn't spitting facts. Everything he said was true about, like, how sucky the world is in truth. But it's just like, what can you really do about it that isn't, like... That is the right answer. It's like, what is the answer? See? I freaking knew it! I was like, this, this, what is this playing around? Like, it didn't make sense to me. I was like, really? They're just, they're just coming? I, I knew it. I was like, that looks so weak. Like, it was a weak approach to them. I even noticed that, and it's like, okay, it was, it was a decoy, of course. The girl in pink. Okay, but who are these people? <laughs> these are not normal people from the freaking modern world. Like, what do they, what do they do? Right on time. What is this position, my dude? <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, this sucks. Oh no, is she going like in that direction? <gasps> she knows about it, right? Does she not know about it? Wait, she's like really close. What do you mean? How does she know it's death? Yeah, y'all dying today. Oh, never mind. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. Yeah, you'd be too scared to come down. You don't know when you can come down. Unless that girl, you know, she can she can sense death, apparently. He's gonna send one down. I freaking knew it. That is messed up. Good job, sweet girl. Who were y'all in the regular day-to-day -day life? Like, y'all were assassins or some shit. Uh. What is it? No, I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea what that is. Communications. Oh my god. Stop. 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 What? How the hell is he going to do that? Same. No, that's facts. That is facts. I'm like, a tank? No, but what am I even saying? Tanks are not even the strongest weapons, but I'm just 
phoned. That's facts. Even Tsukasa would probably be like, this dude's not gonna make a cell phone. Like, it's something Tsukasa would not be able to predict. And the advantage for the team that can communicate in long distances, like, from there to there to there, wherever they are, they can speak to each other. Versus a group that cannot, oh my god. The advantage is so high. So, so, so high. Holy cow. You can send warnings, you could give instructions along the way because things can change. And whatever, like, oh, it's crazy. It ain't fish is the goat. <laughs> oh, look at him! Without bloodshed? I mean, that, that's great and all, but how? That's such a badass like picture of these two. Oh my gosh. He did say that. Oh, he's gonna make him a smartphone. Well, you know, a phone. My heart, like this is I don't know, I just I'm oh, okay. Yeah, a regular phone, not the smart kind. <laughs> I swear. Every single time someone says something, if we hear, <laughs> we know Senko's gonna come with a counter and be like, yes, you can. Like, yo, that mocking laugh is just giving me life, I swear. Every single time you hear something and you just hear that laugh, you know there's an answer. And the answer is Senku. I'm not even gonna take the time to pretend I understand that. Why does dude actually got a throne and everything? Like, relax. <laughs> this dude's like, oh! Oh, look at his face! Look at his eyes! You are such a threat to him. I love that! I just love how someone like Tsukasa is freaking wild, he's a beast, he's like superhuman has like this fear or this sense of threat from Senku, this little twig but he has a brain. His brain is strong enough to be an equivalent threat to, to, like, to Tsukasa, like he's genuinely like this little dude is a problem for me. That's crazy. Wow, that's really hype. I'm so excited for that. Like, I've been saying how I'm excited to always find out the new inventions, like a phone. I'm just really hyped for that, and I'm really hyped to see it in action. And to see the other two again. I want to know what's up with them. How's it going? Like, where it's... I'm, I'm excited. Okay, so honestly, I don't think I have much to say at the end of this episode. Everything was pretty damn straightforward. As you know, I'm just hella hyped to see the whole phone thing. I knew there was something up. Like, last week I was watching, like, them attacking the village, and I was just like... Hmm, like I just, it just didn't feel right. I just felt like it was weak. Like I literally said that last week. I just felt like the attack is being very not strong. Like it's just, yeah, I really felt that, but I didn't, I didn't suspect why that was. I thought maybe it was just a flub, honestly. But there was a reason, of course. There was a reason. They were just, you know, stalling them and distracting them. So yeah, that's pretty cool. It shows that, you know, they have strategy too that they also need to watch out for. Not, you know, they still have brains on their side. Tsukasa's not dumb. He's, he's pretty smart. He's just not Senku smart, but he's pretty smart too. So it shows that they will have structure. They, they will have plans and whatnot, but science is just a step ahead, you know? And when it comes to Taiju and Yuzuhira, I wonder how they're going to get the cell phones to them. Because Gen is no longer able to return. He can't. He's officially a traitor. So had he not been a traitor yet, it would have been easy for him to like, you know, infiltrate and probably meet them and give them the phones or whatnot, but now maybe Sirka's gonna have to go in, you know? 
was that melon always there? <laughs> but nonetheless, somehow they're gonna get it to them and somehow this is gonna be just very interesting I find so I'm excited for it. I hope you guys are too. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see y'all again in my next video. As of now, I'm gonna be reacting to Beastars next episode 5 and tomorrow My Hero Academia. Um, so thanks a lot guys and bye!